Shalom, buckaroo. You're two-dimensional. Listen and understand. Matthew chapter 15, verses 13 through... Well, let's don't do that much. Let's just say Matthew 13, uh, 15, verses 17 through 20. How about that? We'll keep it short. Do you not understand that whatever enters the mouth goes into the stomach and is eliminated? Well, actually, it's a different word in Greek. But those things that proceed out of the mouth comes from the heart, and they defile a man. For out of the heart proceeds evil thoughts, murders, adultery, fornication, thefts, false witness, blasphemy. These are the things which defile a man. But to eat with unwashed hands doesn't defile a man. And this is going to be funny. I'm a messianic Jew. That's none. But you're legalistic. <laughs> I once knew a witch, yeah, still sort of do, whom had a rough life. She ran into people like you, and uh, they essentially excommunicated her, threw her out of the church, said things like, you'll never go to heaven, God. Blah, 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 blah. You get the picture? Because she disagreed with him. She ended up becoming a witch. Not because she wanted to, but because she was left with no choice in court, her own thoughts. And she had believed that the elders of the church were telling the truth, not that they were speaking out of their own pettiness. And she ended up walking a sinful life. Many years passed. But during those years, her mother and her sister kept after her. There was a changing moment. And she eventually recanted. I have questions about the time, but she recanted. She said that because of the diligence and efforts of her mother and sister, she will not ever forget. Now, if I understand you right, you're upset that I defend people who have been victimized most of their lives. The hardest thing for me was to go back in an environment that was filled with temptations and try to help those whom I was like get out of it. Not that it's known, as I try to keep my distance for many years once I've learned the truth. But because of this one witch I ran into is why I began. And if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have done it. Many of them have been victimized abused, told lies, deceived, um, etc. But you're going to stand there as a hypocrite in your legalism and say, who is, who isn't? Who gave you that right? 
I can tell you, I can tell you who is and who is not Christian. Just by this alone. This is where you also feel. I'd be working on my repentance if I was you. And stop saying it, but actually do it. I want to work with Wiccans. I don't have time to take on somebody who is um, petty, hateful, deceiving, um, perverts the word of God to fit your own interpretation. There's another passage in here that says that the path to him is narrow and not walked off is the actual use of the words. Maybe you're not meant to go down that path, dude. Taking off atheists and Christians alike? Seems like you've got some things to work on. It's time to not just talk the talk. It's time to walk the walk. Shalom, son.